children, today we will learn about compounds of boron and aluminium. Boron forms a number of useful compounds like borax, orthoboric acid and diborane. Today we will briefly learn about their chemistry. Let us first discuss about diborane that is B2H6 and its preparation. Do you know diborane is the simplest boron hydride known. Diborane is a colorless highly toxic gas with a boiling point of 180 Kelvin. It catches fire spontaneously upon exposure to air. It burns in oxygen releasing an enormous amount of energy. Borane reacts with oxygen to form boron trioxide and water as shown on screen. Let me tell you that most of the higher boranes are also flammable in air. Children, let us now discuss about its preparation. Diborane can be formed in a number of ways. Let us discuss them one by one. The first one is by reducing boron trifluoride with lithium hydride. Jive ki tusi screen te vek rahe ho ki jado lithium hydride no boron trifluoride nal garam kita janda hai ta diborane ate lithium borofluoride banda hai. Let us discuss the second one now. That is by reducing boron trichloride with hydrogen or lithium aluminium hydride. Boron trichloride nu jado hydrogen nal garam kita janda hai ta borane ate hydrochloric acid prapt hunda hai. Garam karante boron trichloride lithium aluminium hydride nal react karke diborane aluminium chloride ate lithium chloride bananda hai let us now discuss the third method of preparation of diborane which is by reacting iodine with sodium borohydride in a high boiling polyether solvent ch3 o ch2 CH2 all twice O. To see screen te vek rahe ho ki sodium borohydride iodine nal react karke diborane sodium iodide ate hydrogen bananda hai. Industrial scale te boron trifluoride ate sodium hydride de reaction nal diborane produce hunda hai. Air reaction 450 Kelvin temperature te hunda hai ate sodium fluoride as a byproduct prapt hunda hai. Diborane can be converted into higher boranes by heating strongly in the absence of air, that is, by pyrolysis as shown on screen. Children, let us now discuss. Properties of diborane. Diborane undergoes cleavage reactions with Lewis bases represented as capital L to give borane adducts which can be represented as BH3L. Have a look at the examples shown on the screen. Diborane reacts with trimethylamine to form an addition product. Diboranes also react with ammonia to form an addition product which on heating forms borazine and hydrogen. Children, let us now discuss the structure of diborane. The structure of diborane B2 
H6 is somewhat typical. ਤੁਸੀਂ ਜਾਣਦੇ ਹੀ ਹੋ ਕਿ ਬੋਰੋਨ ਨੇਚਰ ਵਿੱਚ ਟ੍ਰਾਈਵੈਲੈਂਟ ਹੈ ਅਤੇ ਦੋ ਬੋਰੋਨ ਐਟਮਸ 6 ਕੋਵੈਲੈਂਟ ਬੌਂਡਸ ਬਣਾ ਕੇ 6 ਹਾਈਡ੍ਰੋਜਨ ਐਟਮਸ ਨੂੰ ਅਕੋਮੋਡੇਟ ਕਰ ਸਕਦਾ ਹੈ ਸਿੰਸ ਥੀਸ ਆਰ ਨਾਟ ਲੈਫਟ ਵਿਦ ਐਨੀ ਇਲੈਕਟ੍ਰੋਨ ਫॉर ਮਿਊਚੁਅਲ ਸ਼ੇਅਰਿੰਗ ਇਸ ਦਾ ਮਤਲਬ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਬੋਰੋਨ ਐਟਮਸ ਨੂੰ ਇੱਕ ਦੂਜੇ ਨਾਲ ਲਿੰਕ ਨਹੀਂ ਕੀਤਾ ਜਾ ਸਕਦਾ ਦਸ ਡਾਈਬੋਰੇਨ ਕੈਨ ਨਾਟ ਹੈਵ ਸਟਰਕਚਰ ਸਿਮਿਲਰ ਟੂ ਇਥੇਨ ਦੈਟ ਇਜ਼ C2H6 ਵੇਅਰ ਦ ਕਾਰਬਨ ਐਟਮਸ ਆਰ ਟੈਟਰਾਵੈਲੈਂਟ ਐਂਡ ਨਾਟ ਟ੍ਰਾਈਵੈਲੈਂਟ ਚਿਲਡਰਨ ਦ ਐਕਸਰੇ ਡਿਫਰੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਸ਼ੋਸ ਅ ਬ੍ਰਿਜਡ ਸਟਰਕਚਰ ਫॉर ਡਾਈਬੋਰੇਨ ਐਸ ਸ਼ੋਨ ਔਨ ਸਕਰੀਨ here the hydrogen atoms are of two types two hydrogen atoms are attached to the boron atoms by covalent bonds these are called terminal hydrogens the remaining two hydrogen atoms called bridging hydrogens are involved in two three centered two electron bonds shown by dotted lines each bond consists of two electrons one contributed by the hydrogen atom and the other by the boron atom these two electrons hold three atoms together this means that two boron atoms and one hydrogen atom are held together as shown on the screen ਇੱਕ ਪਲੇਨ ਵਿੱਚ ਚਾਰ ਹਾਈਡ੍ਰੋਜਨਸ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਹਨ ਜਦ ਕਿ ਟੂ ਬ੍ਰਿਜਿੰਗ ਹਾਈਡ੍ਰੋਜਨ ਐਟਮਸ ਪਲੇਨ ਦੇ ਉੱਪਰ ਅਤੇ ਥੱਲੇ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਹਨ ਦ ਬ੍ਰਿਜਡ ਬੌਂਡ ਇਜ਼ ਲੌਂਗਰ ਥੈਟ ਇਜ਼ 134 ਪੀਕੋਮੀਟਰ ਥੈਨ ਦ ਨਾਰਮਲ ਕੋਵੈਲੈਂਟ ਬੋਰੋਨ ਹਾਈਡ੍ਰੋਜਨ ਬੌਂਡ ਵਿਚ ਇਜ਼ 119 ਪੀਕੋਮੀਟਰ the methylation of diborane to give tetramethyl diborane that is ch3 hol4 b2 h2 also confirms that the four terminal hydrogen atoms are different from the two bridged hydrogen atoms as the two bridged hydrogen atoms are not methylated Let us learn about the orbital structure of diborane. The orbital structure of diborane can also be explained on the basis of hybridization. The ground as well as excited states of boron are as shown on the screen. You can see that boron atom in diborane is sp3 hybridized involving 12s and 32p orbitals including one empty orbital the four sp3 hybrid orbitals adapt tetrahedral arrangement the vacant hybrid orbital is shown by dotted line two hybrid orbitals on each boron atom overlap with 1s orbitals of the two hydrogen atoms to form normal bh bonds out of the two hybridized orbitals left one contains an unpaired electron while the other is empty the hybridized orbitals belonging to one boron atom and the empty orbital belonging to the other atom shown by the dotted line overlap simultaneously with 1s hydrogen orbital on both sides resulting in the three centered two electron bonds the shape of the delocalized electron cloud embracing two boron orbitals and one hydrogen orbital is just like a banana as shown on the screen
so these bonds are called banana bonds have a look at the diborene structure shown on the screen children do you know what is borazine inorganic benzene chalo main tuhanu eh explain kardi ha borazine nu inorganic benzene vi kaha janda hai kyunki es di physical properties benzene nal resemble kardiyan han ate dono iso electronic vi han mainu ummeed hai ki tuhanu iso electronic da matlab samajh aa gaya hovega es da matlab hai ki ohna vich same number of electrons hunde han es da planar ring structure hunda hai jis vich boron ate nitrogen dono sp2 hybridized hunde han par eh pi bonds di formation vich benzene to different hai each pi bond is formed by the overlap of filled 2p orbital of nitrogen with the empty orbital of boron in other words it is a dative bond and what is a dative bond let me explain it to you a dative bond or a covalent bond is one in which both electrons are provided by one of the atoms the orbital structure of borazine is shown on screen however there is little evidence to show that borazine is an aromatic compound just like benzene children now that we have learned so much let us now learn about the most important compound of boron that is borax represented as na2 b4 o7 10 h2o in fact it contains tetranuclear units of b4 o5 oh whole 4 two negative and correct formula therefore will be as shown on screen na2 b4 o5 oh whole 4 8h2o can you tell me what does 8h2o stand for it stands for eight water molecules of crystallization children let us now learn about preparation of borax borax can be prepared by few methods let us list them one by one borax can be prepared from tin cal do you know what is tin cal it is a naturally occurring borax present in dried up lakes it is taken out and boiled with water the solution is filtered to remove insoluble impurities and then concentrated followed by cooling to get crystals of borax borax can also be prepared from coal manite the mineral coal manite that is ca2b6o11 is finely powdered and then boiled with washing soda solution and is also called sodium carbonate solution solution cho precipitated calcium carbonate remove karan lai is nu filter kita janda hai fir borax de crystals prapat karan lai is nu concentrate ate thanda kita janda hai mother liquor jis vich sodium metaborate honda hai nu carbon dioxide gas de current naal treat kita janda hai jis naal a borax vich convert ho janda hai we will next learn about preparation of borax from boric acid in small amounts borax can also be prepared from boric acid by neutralizing with sodium carbonate upon concentrating and cooling the solution crystals of borax that is 
M A 2 B 4 O 7 10 H 2 O separate out. Have a look at the equation on the screen. Let us now learn about properties of borax. Children, let us now discuss the important properties of borax. Borax is a white crystalline solid, sparingly soluble in cold water, but readily soluble in hot water. It has the formula Na2B4O7 10H2O. It is basic in nature. An aqueous solution of borax is basic in nature because the base, that is sodium hydroxide, is stronger than the acid, that is boric acid, that is H3BO3, formed as a result of hydrolysis. Borax pani na react karke sodium hydroxide ate tetraboric acid bananda hai. Tetraboric acid pani na react karke orthoboric acid bananda hai. Now, summing up the equation we get, borax reacts with water to form orthoboric acid and sodium hydroxide. Borax is therefore used as water softener and cleansing agent. Let us now learn about the action with ethyl alcohol and sulfuric acid. When borax is heated with ethyl alcohol and concentrated sulfuric acid, vapors of triethyl borate are formed which when ignited burn with green edged flame. The reaction is used to test the presence of borate iron in a salt. Borax reacts with sulfuric acid and water to form sodium sulfate and boric acid. Boric acid reacts with ethyl alcohol to form triethyl borate and water. We will now learn about action of heat on borax when powdered borax is treated in the flame of Bunsen burner it first loses water and swells up. On further heating it turns into a colorless transparent glassy that is glass like bead called borax bead made of sodium metaborate and boric anhydride. The metaborates of many transition metals have characteristic colors and therefore borax bead test can be used to identify them in the laboratory. For example, when borax is heated in a Bunsen burner flame with cobalt oxide on a loop of platinum wire, a blue colored bead is formed. Children, do you know about the chemistry of borax bead test? Some colored cations or basic radicals such as CO2 positive, Ni2 positive, Cr3 positive, Ni2 positive, Mn2 positive etc. give specific colors with boric anhydride present in the bead. To perform the test, the bead is initially deposited on the loop of a platinum wire. A few crystals of the colored salt are deposited on the bead and the wire is then heated in Bunsen flame. The salts get converted to their oxides, which then combines with boron oxide, that is B2O3, to form metaborates with specific colors. Cobalt oxide on heating with boron oxide forms cobalt metaborate, which is of blue color.
nickel oxide on heating with boron oxide forms nickel metaborate which is of brown color similarly assi vekhde ha ki copper oxide garam hon te boron oxide nal kriya karke copper metaborate form karda hai jo ki dark blue color da hunda hai garam karan te chromium trioxide boron trioxide nal react karda hai ate क्रोमियम मेटाबोरेट बनाऊंदा है जिस दा रंग ब्राउन हुंदा है सिमिलरली कॉपर मेटाबोरेट फॉर्मड बाय द रिएक्शन ऑफ कॉपर ऑक्साइड विद बोरॉन ऑक्साइड ऑन हीटिंग इज ऑफ डार्क ब्लू कलर एंड लास्टली क्रोमियम ट्राईऑक्साइड ऑन हीटिंग विद क्रोमियम मेटाबोरेट इज ऑफ ग्रीन कलर Some of the metaborates are reduced to metallic form by carbon present in the reducing flame of the burner. Let us take an example. Copper metaborate reacts with carbon to form cuprous metaborate, boron oxide and carbon monoxide. Let me tell you that cuprous metaborate is colorless. Cuprous metaborate further reacts with carbon to form copper which is boron oxide and carbon monoxide Children let us have a look at the structure of borax As you see on the screen in borax two boron atoms have triangular geometry while the remaining two atoms are tetrahedral the structure of b4o5 oh4 two negative is as shown on the screen the remaining eight water molecules are associated with two sodium positive ions as a result the structure of borax is also represented as na2 b4o5 oh Pol four, eight H two O. Children, let us now discuss about uses of borax. Borax is used in manufacture of enamels, glazes for earthenware, tiles, pottery, etc. As a flux in soldering. In preparing medicinal soaps because of its antiseptic action. in the manufacture of optical glass also called boroglass which is quite resistant to heat in the candle industry for stiffening the candle wick children let us now discuss about boric acid or orthoboric acid boric acid can be prepared by a number of methods let us discuss them one by one let us first discuss preparation of boric acid from borax a hot and concentrated solution containing borax is boiled with hydrochloric acid this solution upon concentration and cooling gives crystals of boric acid similarly when a hot and concentrated solution containing borax is boiled with sulfuric acid the solution upon concentration and cooling gives crystals of boric acid children let us now discuss preparation of boric acid from colmenite Sulfur dioxide gas is passed through the hot concentrated solution of mineral colmenite made in water. The solution upon concentration followed by cooling gives crystals of boric acid. Calcium bisulfate remains in solutions as it is highly soluble in water. Children We will now learn about 
preparation of boric acid from boron compounds by hydrolysis. Certain boron compounds upon boiling with water or upon hydrolysis give boric acid. Boron trichloride upon boiling with water gives boric acid and hydrochloric acid. Boron nitride upon boiling with water gives boric acid and ammonia. Let us now learn about properties of boric acid. Boric acid or orthoboric acid is a white solid and has a soapy touch. It is less soluble in cold water but readily dissolves upon heating. Let us now learn about its acidic nature. Boric acid is a very weak monobasic acid having dissociation constant of 10 to the power minus 9. It is a Lewis acid and accepts an electron pair from hydroxyl ion present in water molecule. Actually, the central atom in boric acid is electron deficient and can accept an electron pair. Due to absence of d orbital, it is not in a position to take up more than one electron pair and therefore behaves only as a monobasic acid. Please observe carefully that boric acid is not a proton acid like hydrochloric acid. Children, we will now learn about action of heat on boric acid. When heated, boric acid loses water molecules in three stages and finally changes to boron trioxide as shown on the screen. You can very well see that boric acid when heated at 370 Kelvin forms metaboric acid and water. Metaboric acid when heated at 410 Kelvin forms tetraboric acid and water. Tetraboric acid when heated to red hot forms boron trioxide and water. Let us now learn about structure of boric acid. Boric acid contains planar BO3, three negative ions which are linked together through hydrogen bonding as shown on screen. Hydrogen atoms act as a bridge between two oxygen atoms of different borate ions. This results in a trigonal structure. Children, let us now learn about uses of boric acid. Boric acid is used for the manufacture of enamels and glazes for pottery. Boric acid is a preservative for milk and foodstuffs. Boric acid is used in making of borosilicate glass which is heat resistant. Boric acid can be used as an eye wash because of its antiseptic nature. Children, let us now discuss about compounds of aluminium. Aluminium chloride, that is AlCl3, is the main compound of aluminium and chlorine. It is white, but samples are often contaminated with iron trichloride, giving it a yellow color. The solid has a low melting and boiling point. It is mainly produced and consumed in the production of aluminium metal, but large amounts are also used in other areas of chemical industry. The compound is often cited as a Lewis acid. It is an example of an inorganic compound that cracks at mild temperature, reversibly changing from a polymer to a molecule.
Let us now have a look at the structure of aluminium chloride. AlCl3 adopts three different structures depending on the temperature and the state that is solid, liquid or gaseous state. Solid AlCl3 is a sheet-like layered cubic close packed layers. In this framework, the Al centers exhibit octahedral coordination geometry. In the liquid phase, it exists as the dimer Al2Cl6 with tetra-coordinate aluminium. This change in structure is related to the lower density of the liquid phase. 1.78 grams per centimeter cube versus solid aluminium trichloride 2.48 grams per centimeter cube. Al2Cl6 dimers are also found in the vapor phase. At higher temperatures, the Al2Cl6 dimers dissociate into trigonal planar AlCl3 which is structurally analogous to BF3. Children, today we studied about some compounds of boron and aluminium and I hope you have enjoyed the lesson as much as I have enjoyed. Thank you.